dear students today we are going to discuss viva questions on spectrometer experiment the first one what is a spectrometer the spectrometer is an optical instrument used to study the spectra of different sources of light and measure refractive indices of material what are the basic parts of spectrometer the basic parts of spectrometer are three one is collimeter prism table and third one is telescope what is an eyepiece eyepiece is a magnifier designed to give more perfect image than obtained by a general single lens fourth one which eyepiece is used in the telescope of a spectrometer the romsdens eyepiece used as an eyepiece in the telescope of a spectrometer what is romsdens eyepiece which consists of two plano convex lens each of focal length f separated by a distance equals to 2 by 3 cm of distance will the angle of minimum deviation change if the prism immersed in water yes of course the refractive indices of glasses in water is less than air hence angle of minimum deviation becomes very less why are the two readings of the spectrometers are taken they are taken in order to eliminate any error arising due to the non coincidenceness of the center of the graduator scale and the axis of rotation what is the least count of spectrometer the least count of a spectrometer is 1 minute which is equals to the 60 seconds on what factors the dispersive power depends the dispersive power depends on the material characteristics and the wavelength of the colors the light which falls on it out of the prism of uh, flint and crown glasses which one will you prefer to use i prefer flint glass because it gives a very greater dispersion than the crown glass without touching can you differentiate between microscope and telescope yes of course i can by the objective of microscope has a small aperture while the telescope has larger aperture by this difference i can differentiate without touching it why are two verniers provided with it spectrometer because one vernier will not give the correct value of the angle of rotation due to eccentricity of the divided divided circles with respect to the axis of the instruments to the verniers eliminates these errors what is normal spectrum spectrum in which angular separation between two wavelengths uh, is directly proportional to the difference of the wavelengths is always called a normal spectrum why are the concentric circles drawn on the prism table because these circles helps in placing the prism on the table such that the axis of rotation of the table passes through the center of the circumscribing circular of the prism can you find out the dispersive of your prism with monochromatic light no the monochromatic light is uh, 